Queen Elizabeth to break royal protocol and rare move for heartbreaking reason. Queen Elizabeth II is expected to break royal protocol after she received some heartbreaking news. The monarch is likely to break away from tradition to pay her respects to a close friend by attending her funeral. Queen Elizabeth II is said to be deeply upset following the death of one of her long-serving aides. Annette Wilkin worked for Her Majesty for 40 years and rose to become the head housekeeper. She died suddenly at 72 following a short illness. The Queen is likely to attend Ms. Wilkins' funeral despite her not attending them as a rule, according to the Daily Mail. The understanding behind the rule is that the Queen doesn't want to be a focus of attention. The Queen was reportedly so close to Ms. Wilkins she gave her one of her corgis. On top of that, the monarch let her stay in a cottage at Windsor to be close to her. A royal source told the Mail on Sunday, We all called in at the Queen because she had a regal air about her and a lovely cut glass accent. She was always immaculately dressed, fully in control of her job and kind to her staff. The Queen and all the royals absolutely adored her and she was almost part of the family. She never married but was devoted to her job and gave her life to the royal family. The Queen normally only attends the funerals of people who were close personal friends or family members. She has also been to the funerals of former Prime Ministers, Winston Churchill, and Margaret Thatcher. In all other cases, she sends a personal representative to pay respects on her behalf. Deeply upset Queen Elizabeth to break royal protocol and attend funeral of adored royal aide. The Queen has been left deeply upset by the sudden passing of one of her adored royal aides and will break protocol to attend the funeral, an insider has claimed. Annette Wilkin began working for the Queen in 1974 and recently passed away after a short illness aged 72. According to the Daily Mail's royal correspondent Rebecca English, it is understood that the Queen is likely to go to her funeral, a rare honor as she does not attend them as a rule. Royal protocol dictates that the Queen rarely attends funerals to avoid drawing focus and often sends personal representative to pay her respects instead. However, the Queen is expected to make an exception in this case. An insider told the publication, We all called in at the Queen because she had a regal air about her and a lovely cut glass accent. She was always immaculately dressed, fully in control of her job and kind to her staff. The Queen and all the royals absolutely adored her and she was almost part of the family. She never married but was devoted to the job and gave her life to the royal family. And at first starting working as a maid at Windsor Castle when she was a teenager, later becoming head housekeeper. The adored royal aide was in charge of three teams of maids across Windsor Castle and Frogmore House, which Prince Harry and Meghan Markle used for their evening wedding reception, even given of the Queen's corgis. Although Annette retired in 2014, she continued working for the Queen as her assistant dresser and was given a grace and favor cottage within the Windsor estate so she could continue her work. Last month, Her Majesty also attended the funeral of her close friend the Countess of Carnarvon who passed away at the age of 63.